Thank you for clicking on the video. Here today, I'm following a trend that I've recently seen on YouTube uh, that I'm honestly probably a little late to the party on, but that is talking about 10 movies in your collection that you've never actually watched. And here today, I'm gonna do exactly that. I'm gonna talk about 10 movies from my media wall that I've never actually gotten around to watching. So if you wanna see what 10 movies I picked, stay tuned. All right, so I'm gonna pick 10 movies to show you out of my collection that I've never actually gotten around to watching. And I tried to pick movies that I've never seen in general, uh, which one or two of these I've actually seen before. I've just never actually watched the physical media copy I have in my collection. Uh, but I tried to pick movies I've never seen in general. And I tried to mix up the formats and kind of give a variety of what I have here. And I also tried to pick movies that have been in my collection for a pretty good length of time. I felt it would be a little bit of a cop out if I just picked movies that I picked up in the last couple weeks. So I really wanted to pick something that I've had for a long period of time that's just sat on my media shelf that I've never actually watched. But before we get to all that, I just want to say thank you to all the returning viewers. And if this is your first time here, my name's Matt. This is Secondhand Home Theater. Basically, I talk about home theater items and various topics, but I do it with the idea of secondhand in mind because everything I own here in my home theater primarily is secondhand. And without any further ado, let's get to my 10 movies that I've never actually watched. Okay, so starting out, the very first movie that I'm going to talk about here today is one of the oldest DVDs, not the oldest, but one of the oldest DVDs I've had here in my collection. I think I've had it just about as long as I've lived in this house, and that is Martin Scorsese's Raging Bull. Uh, now, I know this is considered uh, kind of a classic, uh, you know, for boxing films and just uh, drama and like... Italian kind of uh, history kind of movies similar to like Godfather and things of that nature and I know this is widely considered a pretty good release uh, of this on DVD this is not a blu-ray and I've never actually watched the film uh, I have watched some of the special features that are on this two disc set but I've never actually watched the movie and like I said I've had this in my collection for a number of years, uh, I mean probably close to 10 years now, and I've just never gotten around to watching it. So uh, number one on my list of 10 movies I have not watched in my collection is gonna be uh, Raging Bull on this two disc special edition DVD set. So now on to number two. Uh, number two is one I've had for probably about a year now in my collection, so not as long as Raging Bull. And that is War Horse from Steven Spielberg. Uh, this is the special edition Blu-ray uh, version. I actually got this, if you can see, on there from a place called Slackers. Uh, I bought this, like I said, about a year ago uh, with store credit that I had there. Slackers is more or less just a used media store. So like CDs, movies, video games, comic books, you know, all that sort of stuff. And I bought this because I had heard a lot of positive reviews on various online forums that the cinematography and just the overall visuals of this movie were actually really high quality especially on the blu-ray release so i decided to pick this up to test out here in my home theater just to see if it lived up to that hype and honestly i've just never gotten around to watching it so it sat in my collection for like I said, about a year, give or take now, and I've just never been able to watch it. So the second movie on this list is uh, War Horse from Steven Spielberg. So we're on to number three, and this is one of the more unique DVDs that I have in my collection, and not necessarily unique in terms of like its contents or packaging or anything like that, but it's unique in the fact that I've had it for like three or four years in my collection, I've seen this movie previously, like years and years and years ago, but I've never watched this actual DVD release. And honestly, I've never even opened this packaging. I've bought it used from a thrift store, but I've never actually even opened it. And that movie is Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas, the Criterion Collection. 
And like I said, I've owned this for a number of years, like three, four years in my actual collection here. And I've never actually opened it. Uh, the plastic wrap is opened, but the seal, if you can see, is not broken. I've never actually opened this disc. Uh, and I've seen this movie previously. Uh, I remember actually watching this through Netflix years and years ago when they were still sending out physical uh, media discs in the mail to watch before it went all streaming. And so me and my wife watched this at our old uh, place that we used to live. So this had to have been at least 10 or 12 years ago. And I watched it with her and really liked it. And I saw this at a thrift store and only paid like two or three dollars for it. It was still brand new. Like I said, the plastic wrap was removed, but the seal wasn't broken. And I've never gotten around to watching this. And like I said, it's one of the only movies here in my collection that is still technically brand new that I've never actually opened. The next uh, video on my list here is Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas, uh, the Criterion Collection. Okay, now we're on to the next uh, movie on the list here. And this is one that I actually bought through Facebook, uh, through a seller group that I've uh, kind of traded and sold stuff back and forth over the years for like Blu-rays and DVDs and VHS tapes and stuff. And this is a movie I've heard positive things about uh, over the years. And I've had this in my collection now, probably for like a year or two. And that movie is Menace to Society, the director's cut Blu-ray. And I've heard a lot of good things, as I said a minute ago, about this movie. Uh, admittedly, this was probably not a movie that would have really been up my alley when it first came out, uh, to be honest. But I had heard a lot of good things in various forums and, and things about it. And so I picked this up through Facebook, like I said, through a seller group. And I only paid, I think, 2 or $3 uh, for it. I actually bought it um, in a bundle with like five or six other movies. So I ended up paying like 2 or $3 per movie and uh, free shipping to get them shipped to me. So yeah, I only paid a couple bucks for this. And like I said, I've never actually watched this. This has sat in my collection for, like I said, a year or two now. And uh, hopefully at some point I'll get around to watching it. But yep, so Menace to Society, the director's cut Blu-ray. Okay, so we're on to the only movie on this list that I actually bought brand new, but I bought it at a discount. I bought this at a Dollar Tree several years ago when they were uh, routinely getting in Blu-rays. I think this was during the pandemic or maybe right towards the tail end of the pandemic when stores were kind of opening back up. But at least here in my small town, the Dollar Tree that we have here was getting a huge influx of like movies uh, brought in to their store, which was really kind of odd. And I bought a handful of those at that time. And probably the best one I found out of there, at least in my opinion, and I've obviously never watched this, is uh, Clint Eastwood's The Good, The Bad, and The Ugly on Blu-ray. I've seen little bits and pieces over the years on like TV and commercials. I obviously know the kind of like iconic little music note that's associated with this movie in this series but i've never actually watched this and like i said i picked this up for a dollar uh at the dollar tree and this is before they switched to a dollar 25. and so i got this a couple years ago it sat in my collection this was actually a movie that i had considered selling off quite a few times to make space and then i just decided not to uh, because i paid so little for it i figured why not keep it uh, but yeah, this is the only one out of these 10 that I'm showing here that I actually bought brand new and not used. So yeah, The Good, The Bad, and The Ugly by Sergio Leone, starring Clint Eastwood, has sat in my collection for quite a while and I've never actually watched it. So the next movie on my list is another movie that I bought through that seller group on Facebook. Uh, not from the same seller, from a different guy, uh, but another one where I bought in a group of various movies, so I only paid a couple dollars for it. Uh, and this is actually one that I picked up kind of off the recommendation of Andy Summers, uh, THX Home Theater Channel on YouTube. He actually was talking about, I believe, the Laserdisc version, which I don't have a Laserdisc player, so I had to find a different version. But that is glory with uh matthew broderick denzel washington uh morgan freeman you know an ensemble cast about the civil war uh, honestly i had never even really known this movie existed until i saw andy summer's uh, channel this honestly from what i've read online and again the recommendation from andy summers about the laserdisc release 
has a really good music score, has a lot of really good sound effects and, and really good like ambiance to the actual film itself. And supposedly, uh, from checking out a couple websites in a few different places, this Blu-ray release is actually a fairly decent transfer. Uh, I mean, it's not perfect, but I think it's actually a, a pretty good transfer of the film. But I should probably get around to watching this because this seems like a pretty good movie and would probably make for a good video here on YouTube as well, talking about uh, why I own it or something. Uh, in terms of like maybe a 4th of July or Veterans Day or something down the road. But anyways, yeah, so I've had glory in my collection for a couple years and I've never gotten around to watching it. Okay, so now we're gonna switch up the format slightly. And I've had this movie in my collection for a number of years. I actually got it when I bought my HD DVD player. Uh, several years ago. And this is a Ridley Scott film. Uh, and I, I like Ridley Scott from Alien, Blade Runner, Gladiator, a bunch of his movies. So I had never seen this one. And so I decided to pick it up. And that's Black Rain. And supposedly this is a fairly good transfer, even though it's HD DVD, not Blu-ray. And the audio is fairly good on this from what I've heard. Granted, it's not a lossless audio mix. This is just like Dolby Digital Plus or whatever. Uh, but this was a lot easier to find on HD DVD for cheap uh, versus the Blu-ray that was out there, at least at the time I purchased this a few years ago. And I figured I have an HD DVD player. I only have, I'm looking at my collection right now, and not even 10 HD DVDs. So I figured, well, why not pick this one up, uh, you know, just to have, you know, in my collection. So, yep, next movie on my list that I haven't seen is Black Rain from Ridley Scott. So the next movie on this list is going to follow a similar trend to some of these other ones. And it was another movie I purchased through the Facebook seller group that I'm a part of uh, in a bundle. And I can't remember if it was bundled with one of the other ones I talked about on here. Uh, but this is Batteries Not Included. And this is on Blu-ray. Now, I remember watching this movie growing up on VHS tape. And so again, I found this through the Facebook seller group. Uh, I bundled it with some of the other movies that I have in my collection. So I only paid like two or three dollars for it. Again, this is Steven Spielberg. This is like one of those movies that really stuck around with me when I was little, where I could remember scenes and remember things about this movie, but couldn't remember what it was called and couldn't remember much else about it. But I always had like the little robots and stuff in my mind and in my memory. And uh, it's like I said, sat in my collection now for two or three years, uh, give or take. And this is the Blu-ray release. Again, this is supposedly a pretty decent transfer, pretty decent release uh, for this film. So, but yeah, here's another one that I got through that seller group, sat in my collection I've never gotten around to watching, and that is Batteries Not Included. This next movie is one that has kind of been a little bit newer in my collection. I've probably only had this for about six, seven months, give or take. Uh, and I actually bought this one of the times I went to, I believe the vintage stock down uh, near St. Louis uh, that I kind of visit every once in a while if I'm down in that area. And that is the director's cut of Dark City. And this is a Blu-ray release. I can kind of remember the trailer for this movie being attached to one of the VHS tapes I remember watching quite a bit when I was younger, but I've never actually watched the movie itself. Uh, again, I've heard a lot of really good things about this movie, uh, a lot of like how it influenced other movies that followed it, uh, but I've never actually watched it. And like I said, I've only had this one for about six months, give or take, in my collection, so it's a little bit on the newer end of the spectrum of these other movies. But I've held this in my collection and I've just never gotten around to watching it. But this is definitely one I really do want to watch at some point. Uh, so yeah, the next one on my list is uh, Dark City on Blu-ray. Okay, so now we're on to number 10, if I counted correctly. And this is uh, another kind of unique release. And I actually stumbled across this release along with a bunch of other movies that were on shopgoodwill.com in a big bundle. It was a bundle of like 50 or 60 or 70 movies of like DVDs, Blu-rays, and 4K discs. And this was one of the 4K releases. This is the Arrow special edition release of True Romance on 4K. And 
if you've watched any of my content on my channel before when I've talked about media, I don't have a whole lot of 4K discs. Uh, I only have maybe a dozen or like 15 uh, at, at most. And this one is one that I picked up, like I said, in that Shop Goodwill bundle. I only paid maybe like 40 or $50 for that bundle of movies. So really just to get this movie out of that collection was worth the price I paid. And then I took and sold most of the ones that were duplicates or that I didn't want. But I kept this one and I kept a handful of others. Uh, but yeah, I've never actually watched this. And this is Arrow video. I believe this is the only Arrow video release I have in my collection. Uh, Arrow is pretty well known for being a, a pretty nice boutique label that will uh, really pay homage to the films and really honor the director's intent and, and production's intent on the films. And this one comes with not only the 4K... Uh, disc that's on here if I can get it out of here. It's got the special edition disc. It also has a poster which is cool and it has this little booklet uh, detailing you know the production and all kinds of different things and it has this cool slip cover that it goes into. So yeah so this <laughs> release here uh, was definitely worth the the money that I paid on that Goodwill find and uh, yeah so number 10 on my list is True Romance on Arrow 4K. I know I've shown my 10 movies uh, that this video was mainly about, but I am going to show you a bonus number 11 on the list. This one is not only one of the oldest movies that I own, uh, not only in terms of when it was actually made and produced uh, and distributed theatrically, but also one of the oldest DVD releases that I have in my collection uh, that I've had for, uh, you know, one of the longest times. And I've never actually watched this movie despite the fact that it is immensely uh, culturally impactful and that it had such a huge widespread uh, cultural impact uh, and that so many films have really followed in its footsteps uh, over the last like nearly a hundred years that this movie has been out and I know this release isn't the greatest release for this movie but it's the one that I've had in my collection for all these years and that is the special edition release of Citizen Kane on DVD. I know this release as I said is not the greatest quality it has some compression issues and audio issues that have been changed and different things whatever but this movie is immensely important to American cinema uh, after it was released. And I know this is a highly, highly uh, regarded movie in film fandom, you know, in film circles, and both culturally, uh, critically, uh, you know, from the fans' point of view, it's, you know, this hugely popular movie. And I've had this in my collection for at least 10 years now, maybe longer than that. And I've never actually watched this. <laughs> For some reason, I've never just watched this. I don't know. And I know this is one of those things that any film buff out there is probably going to be kind of like shaking their head at me. Like, Matt, how can you have this in your collection and not watch it? But yeah, I've never actually watched this. And uh, this is definitely something that should be on my list to watch when I have the earliest, you know, opportunity because of its, you know, importance to cinema in general. But yeah, so a bonus number 11 disc uh, on this list here is the two disc special edition release of Citizen Kane on DVD. All right, so there you go. There's my 10 uh, movies in my collection I haven't watched, plus the one bonus movie. Hopefully you enjoyed this content. If you do, definitely, you know, like and subscribe to my channel. I really do appreciate it. As I always say, I'm extremely humbled for the level of support that I've gotten already uh, in my short time here on YouTube. Uh, also, definitely leave a comment down below. Uh, let me know if you have any movies in your collection that you've never watched uh, for any reason, you know, or you may not know why, but you've got them there and you just haven't watched them. Uh, also, feel free to to roast me in the comments about some of these movies and why I've never watched them and had them in my collection. I'm, you know, always entertained by some of the comments uh, everyone puts down there. But uh, with that, I'm going to wrap this video up. Uh, be on the lookout for more content coming soon, and I will see you in the next video here on Secondhand Home Theater.